Previously on the Crystal Palace Career Mode series, we drew nil all with Liverpool at Selhurst Park. Suffered the same fate, this time at the Liberty Stadium against Swansea. Martin Kelly suffered a torn hamstring. He's going to be on the sidelines for about six weeks. And finally, we managed to shock Newcastle United, defeating them in the Capital One Cup 2-0. Episode number eight of season one, here we go. G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 8 of season 1 of the Crystal Palace Career Mode series. We are going to jump straight into the episode with a difficult matchup at White Hart Lane against Tottenham Hotspur who are playing tonight in the North London Derby. It's probably already happened when you are watching the video but right now uh, I'm eagerly awaiting the matchup. But Spurs, they're playing a relatively weak side. Uh, Nova Tongan, they're, they're playing Harry Kane up front instead of someone like Soldado or Adebayor. Uh, so I am confident that we will be able to get a result out of this game. We seem to be giant killers. Uh, one of you guys did mention that we always seem to lift against the great teams. We, we drew nil all with uh, Man United. We drew nil all with Liverpool. We beat Arsenal. We beat Liverpool. But we can't beat the middle table sides, which is really annoying. Like, we can't beat Stoke. Um, sorry, not Stoke. We can't beat Sunderland. We can't beat uh, Hull. We can't beat Swansea. Just teams like that. We can't beat Leicester. We can't beat Burnley. But we can somehow beat these great teams. And that philosophy continues as we go up 1-0 and we get awarded a penalty 11 minutes into the game. Uh, Yednak was clipped by uh, Paulinho, I believe it is, uh, when he was taking the shot. And... I was very surprised at this start to the game. It was a great start to the game, but I can't complain at all. As middle A Yednak right now steps up against Michel Form. And we scored the goal. 2-0 ahead against Tottenham Hotspur. What is going on? It's on the road as well. It's not like the home crowd is lifting us. We're playing at freaking White Hart Lane. So, you tell me what's happening. I'm pretty excited though. Uh, 32 minutes into the game though. Uh, Tanzen right now puts it just to the left hand side of the net probably should have scored that but uh, it just might not be Tottenham's lucky day as we move on 56 minutes into the game Cabellos I believe that is pronounced is on the ball here passing it to Paulinho Paulinho off to Harry Kane and Harry Kane is able to get one goal back here for Tottenham uh, 57 minutes into the game so hopefully we are able to hold on until the full time whistle Harry Kane, excuse me, a uh, genuine prospect for Spurs. Uh, the 67 minutes into the game, Williams passed it to Mbolo. Back to Williams, but a good save there from Michel Vorm, getting his body in front of the ball. But it does not matter for Spurs as we go on to defeat Tottenham Hotspur 2-1. What a very strong victory from the lads. Moving on into the second game of the episode, we are playing Stoke City at Selhurst Park. Uh, they are doing very well in the league at this stage of the career mode series. I'm pretty sure they are sitting in first position, which is absolutely crazy. You would not expect uh, freaking Stoke City to be sitting in first position 15 games into the season. Uh, it's just crazy. Uh, but moving on, this is the lineup we are going to be playing. A very strong one. Playing Wilfred Zaha out left where he belongs. Uh, and playing Mbolo up top because he has been very strong as of lately. And Stoke City, they're playing a very strong side as well. Of course, they have one of our targets from the offseason. Uh, James Tonkins from West Ham who did decide to go to Stoke City instead of us. So, really want to show him why he should have come to Crystal Palace. Uh, but so far, it's looked like it's pretty good for him, considering Stoke a first place. Uh, but we almost get off to a terrible start there, almost conceding a goal 11 minutes into the game. But luckily, Stoke put it wide. Uh, nothing else really happened in that first half. But then in the second half, Williams with the header. Williams gets it past as near Begovic. And the short little center attacking midfielder gives us a 1-0 advantage by using his head. It was all about the great positioning and the great run there from Williams. It was a very, very nice goal. But moving on, 71 minutes into the game, Ireland through to Onardovic, and a good diving save there from Speroni is cleared away. 
and then as we move on late on in this game, hopefully we can hold on to the victory. 86 minutes into it. O'Keefe, one-on-one with Begovic, but a good save there. And Mbolo tries to take an off-balance shot and ends up skying it over the crossbar. Uh, but that's not going to matter. As we do go on to defeat, league leaders will not need more. They're not going to be league leaders. Stoke City. Definitely a good three points. It's going to take a little bit of pressure off of us from the board. And friggin' Hungary, they do get impressed. They offer us the international management offer. But of course, I am going to reject it. And the same with Venezuela. The third and final matchup of the episode, it's going to be a tough one. We're taking on Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium. Last season's league winners. Boy, oh boy, this is not going to be fun. In the freaking snow, it looks pretty cool on this game, but as you will see, it is not fun to play. And Oscar, the freaking signing from Chelsea, what an addition to the side. Manchester City playing right in goals instead of Joe Hart. Uh, and they're playing Boyata in the black line. They're playing a relatively weak side. They have Fofana in the midfield. Uh, and they're playing Dzeko up front instead of somebody like uh, Aguero, but Dzeko is still OP as Fuck on this game, as you would have seen in the Real Madrid career mode, he caused me problems at Borussia Dortmund. Uh, but this is the lineup we are playing. Danny Ings comes back into the lineup. Mariapa in right back. Luke Garbett's going to have another go. And um, we're giving MacArthur one last chance. Otherwise, I am going to list him for transfer in the January transfer window. But as we move on here, look how hard it is to see the ball with the yellow kits and the white. Uh, ground, but they do manage to hit the crossbar there, Manchester City, but luckily for us, no result. And Boyata here is going to pass it to Yaya Toure. Yaya Toure to Ed and Dzeko, back to Toure, and a good diving save there. Navas with another shot, but a good save yet again from Speroni. Luckily, the referee, or the touch judge, does deem him to be offside, but it is going to be Zaha passing it to Balassi here. Balassi to MacArthur. MacArthur hits it off the post, and then it's able to be cleared, but Danny Ings gets the deflection. And it's all over the shop, and it finally is cleared from Oscar. 84 minutes into the game, Toure with a free kick, and the goal line clearance there. I think it was Balassi that was on the line, able to just get his noggin in front of it and save us from conceding a late goal, at least for the time being. Look on that replay. I'm not sure if the Argentine keeper, Speroni, would have gotten to it. Uh, so luckily for us, we did put Balassi on the back line. 90 minutes into the game, though, Nasri takes a shot. Nasri gets it into the back of the net. Oh, dearie me, guys. Lol jokes. He was offside. In the real game, I thought he scored. And then I'm like, hey, how come it hasn't been added 1-0 at the top? And then I realized it was offside. But somehow, we have managed to draw nil all with Manchester City again. Defeating, well, not sorry, not defeating. Drawing with one of the best sides in the league, Neil All. We, we keep on doing it, lads. We're, we're getting better and better every game. Our defense is finally improving. But make sure you let me know what people, what players you want me to bring in in the January transfer window as it is coming up very soon. We're going to wrap up this episode sitting in 15th position on 18 points. Make sure if you enjoyed the episode that you smash that like button. Make sure that you subscribe if you are new around here. Follow me on Twitter at JaredHD. But most importantly, lads, have a great day. It's been Jaren HD here. I'm out. Peace.